Hi everybody. Uh, this video today is going to be about, as you can see on the, on, on the video already, is two ABS pumps. Uh, these pumps they come from uh, Volvo S40 2004. Uh, if you watch my previous videos, uh, you're going to see something about how to replace uh, the SEM, how to reuse a second-hand SEM, and this video is going to be just about that. Uh, what happened basically is I bought uh, a second. This is the original pump. And the problem with this pump on the car is um, the anti-skid light comes on. It, it comes up with no communication with several pumps, uh, with several pumps or with several uh, ECUs. And uh, sometimes it just comes up with a brake failure with the red triangle on the cluster. And when that happens, uh, I can't even... Um, scan the car it just fails to scan the car it's like if this is putting some sort of uh, I don't know uh, uh, interference on the network of the car and it's, it doesn't allow me to scan the car uh, so this is the problem with this pump now what I've done is I bought a second hand pump now for you guys out there that, that try to do this um, obviously the pumps are coded to the car Basically, the when you turn the ignition on, the engine ECU, the ECM, will send a request to the ABS pump to send the serial number of the ECU, this ECU, back to it. And the, 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 the serial numbers, they need to match. If they don't match, the car will not start. So that's the reason why the, the pumps are coded, let's say. So you can't just get a second hand, put it in, the car will, will, will not start. So, to overcome that problem, what we need to do is, I'm going to show you here, I'm just going to show you on this pump, but they are both the same. Right there, on, on the top, I'm going to try to focus this, right, right there. These in here, is a EEP ROM okay I believe it's a 90 I think it's a 95 oh, it's hard to see uh, it's a 95 something uh, anyway all you need to do is one of the two or you remove this EP ROM and you swap this EP ROM Let's say this is the original pump, this is the second hand pump, okay? That is now what I've done in this case, but you can do a straight swap of the EP ROMs, or you can dump the contents of this EP ROM, okay? And then load them onto this pump, and the car will start first time, no problem, okay? That is how you overcome. Now, in my case, I have another problem, because... I bought a second hand pump, I've swapped the chips, everything's fine on the car, but it comes up with the brake pressure sensor. So basically I bought a second hand pump and the second hand pump came with another problem. So I can communicate with the car fine now, but it comes up with a brake pressure sensor. So what I decided to do is... I'm going to replace the actually uh, electronics side of the pump, the, the electronic module. So this body, the pressure sensor is faulty and everything else is fine. This module, the, bra the brake pressure sensor is fine. The brake module, the brake module is faulted. So we're going to swap this into this but while I do this I'm going to show you where the brake pressure sensor is and uh, and all that okay so to open the pump there's two screws I've removed them on this but I'm going to show you on this pump so there's a screw in there there's another one right there so you take these two screws and the motor should come off there we go, the motor comes off. After the motor comes off, 
the hydraulic module will come off. I'm going to try to no, I can't do this holding the camera Hang on. So there you go. The, the hydraulic module comes off. So this is the electronics module. Okay. This is the contact to the motor. This is all the magnetic solenoids that actuate this. And over there, right at the bottom, are those four little pins is the contact for the brake pressure switch, okay? It's those there, which they go in contact. Whoops. In there. So this is indeed your brake pressure sensor. So all I'm gonna do is, because this sensor is good, that sensor is not, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse this um, hydraulic module I'm going to reuse this motor I'm just going to replace the electronics on top so if you have um, a brake pressure sensor fault uh, I'm not sure guys if you can actually get this sensor from somewhere uh, I, um, I can't really tell you you might be able to I haven't done the research because I have another pump here, so I'm just going to do a straight swap of the electronics. But you might be able to find this sensor on its own. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this somehow can be helpful. And any comments, just as always, just put them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them.